Good morning. Uh, so I decided to post this video. Hopefully I can help some people out. Um, I needed to get some crossbars for my 2005 Honda Odyssey. And I opted to get the knockoff version on eBay for about $55 with shipping. Um, got the first set in. They didn't match uh, the brackets. And so I got another set free of charge. Uh, the company who sold it to me was very helpful. Um, but in the process of trying to figure out how to install these things um, I had a lot of headache and such so uh, let me just say the owner's manual that comes with this the uh, installation manual you can pretty much discard most of it it doesn't apply to this van um, simplest way that I found through much headache to install these is first you stick a little screwdriver in this hole in the back and that releases a plug so you can pull this off you gotta be careful, you will scratch your paint, most likely, I think it'll rub off, it's just the plastic. Once you get that off, it opens up this rail here, and there's little tiny pieces that slide in that connects to your crossbar. Uh, so I suggest putting the two uh, little slider pieces in on each of the rails. And then, um, if you'll notice, on the back of your crossbar, uh, they come with, you have to put in some screws that are here, uh, Allen wrench is provided, and it's got a little slider on here. So what you wanna do is install these screws loosely. On the other end, you don't have a slider option. Uh, you can see right here, there's a little bit of a play, but there's not a whole lot of play in that. So go ahead and put the arms on with the screws loose. Once you get them on, you can put them on your bars and uh, you gotta line it up with where the little slider piece that you slid in goes. You stick it up underneath, you gotta stick the screw um, that comes supplied as a little silver screw um, down the hole, connect it in on each side. And with the screws underneath being loose, you've got some play to move this back and forth to get it to sit where you want it. Once you get them to fit right, then those screws on the bottom, you can use the Allen wrench and tighten them up. So if you do that to all four, you don't have to pull these bolts off your crossbars, you don't have to pull these off, and it makes it a lot more easy. I did find that one bar was like a half an inch longer than the second bar, so uh, I think I used the longer one in the front and the shorter one in the back and it ended up working. So. I hope this helps. Uh, feel free to post any comments. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you out as it was a big headache to me. Thanks for watching. Share if you'd like.